Hello, looks like we're live. <clears throat> the lights uh, blinking and the numbers are going in successive order. I think we're live. All right, so it's uh, Mrs. Part 8 of our uh, winding and scenic uh, um, data, uh, how, what do I call this? The forensic data recovery of the, the, the Tomsk um, great anomaly of September that got people jumping off of bridges and and standing on ledges and um, in the uh, the program there's a beautiful expression that I like to to use you know you know come in off the ledge close the door you know have a seat have some tea you know like c come in off the ledge you know people are ready to jump um, and making you know all kinds of whack job claims because of the machine malfunctioning. Um, there's a great uh, Buddhist koan that, that is to the effect when you're pointing your finger at the moon, do not confuse your finger with the moon. Uh, I, I, that's a, a great expression that I like to hold to help me moderate, keep things in moderation. Is it you know, the um, Memorex, there was a, a brand of tape, a uh, magnetic cassette tape called Memorex, and their big deal was, is it live or is it Memorex? Uh, you know, like, if, if the recording equipment is that good, you trust the rec recording equipment over and above the, the real-life experience sometimes. Um, and I had a... a uh, you know, this is just kind of a little introduction here. I had a uh, recently a comment from a viewer who was talking about, you know, the machine breakdown and it being important to uh, their well-being to kind of know what it's, you know, what the Schumann is doing. And I made the point to him that it's just kind of a crutch that you're using, that your intuitive body will tell you what you need to know. You don't need any external validation. And the, the Russian machines aren't broken. They're serving their purpose fine. They're teaching machines. They're at a publicly funded university. And they are provided as a free service to the students and the rest of the world because it's federally funded money. And you've got to remember that, that it's the Russian government that's paying for this, essentially, the taxpayer money over there that's paying for you to get a good, clear signal every fucking day. So, if you want a good, you know, you've got to go to your neck of the woods. You can't depend on what's going on in Russia. You need to build your own antenna. So, if you can't, you're unwilling to, you're unable to, they're way too fucking complicated, uh, you know, all the above need apply, yeah. You, you know, you have to accept that you're depending upon a machine rather than trusting your own intuition, which is, oh, I don't know. I don't have words for it, but it's off the topic at 3.33. There you go. Yeah. Ding. Okay. On to the topic. So we're at safe mode. And um, this is a continued discussion of where we were, where I was just moments ago. I don't know where, where you were last video, but um, so this is just, I'm picking up right off where I had left off. And the other one, this is a review. First, I'm going to review what we had talked about and actually go into... All right, there we go. Right. So, safe mode. Um, and I'm going to also uh, uh, examine one of the other... I think this would be actually be a perfect place for it, to examine one of the other phrases that had come up so you can understand what the dealio with the flat lines there then is. Okay, so, safe mode. Oh, safe mode. Adjusting. All right. Safe mode from Wikipedia from the spacecraft. Or I know it. Safe mode is a diagnostic diagnostic tool or diagnostic mode of a computer operating system OS. It can also refer to a mode of operation by application software. Safe mode is intended to help fix most, if not all, problems within an operating system. It is also widely used for removing rogue security software. All right. So we are going to. Look up. Diagnosis. All right. So it's not giving us diagnostic uh, 
um, operating system or, uh, mode, but we'll just kind of go with those. Diagnosis is the identification of the nature and cause of a certain phenomena. Diagnosis is used in many different disciplines with variations in the use of logic, analytics, and experience to determine cause and effect. In systems engineering and computer science, it is typically used to determine the cause of symptoms, mitigations, and solutions. So, so uh, all right. So they're giving you here, the, you know, different methods, a ways of diagnosis. All right. So tools, blah blah blah, different kind of things. All right. So, all right. So. Um, Wages World had said, or so this is again more along the lines of even a uh, a review. Okay, so I want to stick to a relevant point here. I, I played the whole point of his uh, live cast, um, and I'm um, blah blah blah. I'm I'm giving you just the relevant part here in this time. Okay, so it's a, as a review. At the beginning of it, just, you know, try to understand basics. And once you do that, you're off to the races because it'll, it'll, it'll click. So when we're looking at this, we, we've seen that big, big crazy anomaly that lasted for like three days. And, you know, they actually gave an explanation for it on their site. Okay. That's, I think they were doing some like equipment um, upgrades. And it, it was in that pattern, and it stayed in that pattern for three days straight because they, they didn't want to shut it off for whatever reason. And this, that's the way I understand it. Um, now, if that's exactly how it happened, not sure. You know, and there's always that possibility that it could have been something. Okay, I'm not saying that that's not, not you know, could not have been something. All right, so, yeah, we went through Um You can, oh, crap, sorry. <coughs> I didn't mean to knock you over. Huh. Oh, there you go. I think that just improved the view. All right, good. All right, thank you, guys. All right. So, um, all right. So, I, I want to go over uh, what he was saying. Just that part. Um, he's on their, on their website. He said on their website. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So, I, I look for this stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I know what's going on. It is not on their website. Um, I will take you to their website. This is the one in English, right? So this is their website. Yeah, there ain't nothing happening here. No, there is not any place for any, any notices here. Okay. So now there's a website. There are websites to talk about the shoe bin. Okay. This is, this is, this is it. Not it. There's not any, not anything here. And believe me, I've gone through all of these, you know, you have, uh, the Q factors. All right. So we'll go through today's um there we go so this is the up to the date um schumann right now that way it can make this relevant um all right so that's operating fine the amplitudes uh oh quality okay all right this is the amplitude yeah all right so you see a spike up to 16 16 uh, that's at 10 in the morning there, their local time. Uh, and 16, that's um, 2, 4 in the afternoon, so almost 4 in the afternoon to get us a spike of the heavy magnetic dose with nothing there. And see how these are, are look at this. Uh, uh, these two mode, these three modes often act, you know, kind of independently of the green here. You know, we're at 18 usually that will be up to like 32 the rough wave rough seas are at 31 it's 18 it's calm now uh so amplitude is the the electrics well these are the uh the wide shh, um how do i say that they're very long um even the the amplitude uh ones are the relatively long these are the spiky spikes so the mid grades are caused by that You'll get orange and rust. This will give you where it's starting to get that um, dark green, maroon color there. Rust is there. Then you start getting into um, uh, the other colors between, uh, you know, 
the white and pale. All right, so this is off the topic. So anyway, so there's no announcements. Uh, I was just a free observation on the um, the Schubert today. All right, uh, yeah, to make it relevant, yeah, we're not talking about just the old stuff here. I'm talking about the new stuff. All right, so you go to, this is the TSU site, the news, right? So they have other interesting, great stuff here that they've given in the news uh, on the 7th of September. Scientists have identified 300 previously unrecorded fish species. On the 4th of September, TSU has risen in the rankings. The 21st of August, they have a botanical garden over there. Very nice. The 12th of August, of course, we're going back before that. Scientists create, but it's, this is actually interesting. Scientists create an electrical power source for oil exploration. All right. So in July, and this is all more off the topic stuff, but this is something that I found interesting. Well, this is interesting. TSU will help students start a career at the university and CERN. Oh, okay. Uh, they talk about, you know, slippery ceramics, right? Oh, here's, okay, another one on CERN. TSU, I, I thought there was another one. We, we'll help CERN to lighten the data warehouse system. TSU will help understand artificial, artificial intelligence to understand agriculture. All right, so... These are the people that are doing, giving you the, um, the, to, uh, the spectrograph that we just saw, the varying spectrographs, um, from Tomsk. All right. So, as we just said, it is a, a regional tool. Um, His faculty, radio, faculty of radio engineering. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that these are the ones that um, are in charge of. It's hard to tell, but I think these guys are the ones that are in charge of the uh, actually looking over and manu and and uh, maintenance on the, uh, the 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 Schumann antenna and all of that. Radio waves. I, I I'm still working through this, and I'm going to. I've sent one email of inquiry. I'm going to send another one. Uh, you know, keep trying to send emails to different people. See if I get any responses. Um, all right. So I have no doubt. You know, wages. Uh, Mark is one of those people who says, you know, uh, you know, if I'm wrong in something. Uh, you know, tell me, and I appreciate that. And I'm the same way. You know, if I'm giving you some false information, show me otherwise. And that's where I'm throwing back that if there's that there has to be a link. You read that somewhere. Um, so if you can find that where you 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 saw that, what what website? Because there's another one. Okay, we're going down the line on our uh, quest for Schumann. Okay, here we go. We have. The other source of information that people go to is the um, what's been called the Italian site, and this is actually technically not the Italian site, but it sort of is, kind of. Uh, um, um, they have a local feed, okay, but they always go with tops. Go ahead. so Discovery News, right? And see up there on the little. Um, if you can just see it up there in the corner, right there, the corner. There, there is the the Italian flag, or the red, white, and green. All right, so you can see it up there. Okay. Hello. All right. So back to you know I kind of like using my my cell phone and an old cell phone for the camera because number one it's it's good enough it does its job great and it's very flexible with the little wire coat hanger holder camera phone camera uh adapter i have no oh, see got a lot of whack all right <clears throat> minor adjustments all right so all right 1444 all right so these are reference points of Schumann past data, blackouts. You see February, they talk about that online. This one here. All right, so this is your archive. 
It goes back at least to uh, July. Oh my goodness, yep. So this is for you, wages. You're talking about the red and the uh, blue pill. And then this says here, the little quote they give is, I was born on the prairies where the wind blew free and there was nothing to break the light of the sun. I was born where there were no enclosures. Hmm. Lovely. Lovely. So, all right. So, this is where I first started pulling my Schumann data from, was uh, Disclosure News. Uh, and they have other stuff there, here. All right, so, all right. I guess you can read it well enough. Hold on for a day. All right, well, we'll figure it out. All right, so. Uh, all right, so. So they have a running log in disclosurenews.it, Schumann Residence Today update, and I have a link to them, these guys, in my uh, description, generally my, um, the uh, ending I have on a lot of the videos, when I have room, I, uh, this is one of the things I post, the, um, the, the Tomsk, the regular site, the Russian site, and these guys, because there's a lot of good information that they give. All right, so, uh, all right, so where I want to pick up is what we're talking about was on the 1st, roughly on the 1st. So the 31st 1st, um, so that's where we first have, all right, sh okay, so they have, all right, so starting at, the 30th, I think this is all relevant, starting from, because that's where my picture is, I think, okay. All right, so on the 30th, the 2100 hours, they say, the source website is stuck on that image from this afternoon. At, on the, at 1100, on the 31st, the graph that we see after the interruption show data anomalies reported for the period from 22 to uh, 330 UTC and therefore are unreliable. From about 4 UTC, the data flow seems to have returned to normal with all parameters on calm values. The frequency started to decrease slightly from 9 UTC. Then at 1700 on the 31st of August, the frequency in the last eight hours has continued to oscillate just below the base value of 7.83 hertz. The amplitude has maintained calm, while the quality has had moderate excursions of 2.7. All right. And then on September 1st, uh, at 700 hours, the situation remained calm until about midnight UTC when a series of moderate movements began and gradually increased the amplitude spikes over a period of seven hours. It reached power 24 at 7 UTC, which is the maximum value so far. The frequency remained around the base value, but with wide variations, especially in the last two hours. Okay. Then you have on September 1st at 1500 hours, the frequency oscillations became more intense, starting from 5 UTC during these excursions between 8 and 7.6 hertz. There were also movements of the amplitude, which, and she's talking about the 
frequency dependency there. Uh, there were also movements of the amplitude which which with an isolated peak just before 10 UTC reached power 51. Shortly after two other significant movements followed, always isolated at power 39 and power 24. At the time of this update, the frequency continues to oscillate. So she's talking about going between the frequency, that, that wonderful 7.883 is dodging between 8 and 7.6. So that's where the 7.83 average goes between 8 and 7.6. That's, that's a pretty wild dip, pretty, pretty wild ride there. Okay. At 1700 on the 1st of September, in the last few hours, the frequency has started a fast rise toward the base value, and the activity has considerably calmed down. All right, so base value is 7.83. All right, so September 2nd, Directions mixed up. September 2nd, 1700. Not much to say today from 2230 UTC yesterday. We are in a blackout condition. Instead of being pitch black, it reports the data of the last reading on and on. Unless reality surpasses fantasy and it is real. All right, all right. These people watch us every day. Uh, you know, is this real? Questioning reality. All right. Yeah, love it. Nine th at 9.30 on 9.3, 9.3, the Schumann resonance is an electromagnetic vibration between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere in the form of standing e electromagnetic waves. The Earth and its ionosphere is a giant spherical resonator, the cavity of which is filled with a we weakly conductive medium. Earthlings and environment are two TWO connected vibrational systems with discrete resonant frequencies. Brain biocurrents have rhythms that coincide with electromagnetic background of the Earth has changed radically as a result of human activity. Okay, that's, yeah, there, there's an effect of it in there. There was electro, there there was electromagnetic smog, multi-frequency radiation born of a variety of industrial and household appliances, electromagnetic technology debris in the atmosphere that the body does not hear Schumann waves. During solar flares, the electromagnetic properties of the lower ionosphere change, which leads to a change in the resonant frequencies of the cavity and consequently to a violation of the equilibrium of the system. The Confederation's space fleets also have an impact, which also affects the frequency beyond of the Earth. In short, the reasons may be different. It's from left. Okay, so, all right. I'm just providing this as a public service. Okay. Okay, and then uh, on the 3rd, September the 3rd, 1700, we are still in this anomalous condition with the new charts that will be released after 17 UTC and the scale of the amplitude vertical X, Y will change quite a lot and we will see if these are straight lines or have a cyclical nature. Okay. And then from 9... Uh, 700 hours on the 4th of September, the, the anomaly is over. It seems that the data reported in the period from 23 UTC to on uh, 2nd September to 3 a.m. UTC on 4 September were not valid as they were removed. It is possible that the last available data have been looped as a default in case of interruption of the undata, uh, updated data flow. What the graphs show now for the last four hours of valid data is a dip in frequency from the base value of 7.83 to 7.37 hertz. 7.3 to 7.37 hertz. 
which occurred at 6 UTC. This triggered fluctuations in quality and a peak in amplitude, which is 630 UTC reached power 23. So you see, not only does it rise a little bit up to 8, that's when you talk about the rising frequency of the human resonances, yeah, it'll go up to 8 hertz. But that first harmonic, the first resonant harmonic of the Schumann is always going to be hovering between 8 and 7.3. That's a low frequency day. That's probably, I'm estimating that's where you're getting your headache from. Uh, uh, I, I, I dare say, or maybe at, at 8.0 or going quickly, maybe even from, holy crap, 7.3 up to an 8, like, I don't know, that's a hell of a ride. That's a hell of a ride. You know, I'll just leave it at that. read the um, alright so you can go there I'm not even going to read the rest of it because it's you know it's now the data's back on and they're talking about that alright so this is where the many people otherwise would get their their information on the Schumann from alright so there's we're now at, I'm now at like three. I've gone to the website all over the Tomsk, you know, university website. They don't have it. They're, you know, sparse with information as it is. Um, the, the SOS reporting station system, they don't have any kind of information on that. This one here, uh, you know, so, you know, wherever, like, I'm just throwing this out to Wages World. I believe him. It's not that I don't believe him. I'm, 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 I'm you know, there's a level of proof that, you know, like, all right, just because someone doesn't have, like, you, you're not, you know, just because I'm not finding that their website doesn't mean somewhere doesn't have it, you know. I mean, I've looked, I'm scouring, scouring all over, you know, but I still believe the core of what he's saying. You know, the, the, even though the math itself doesn't, you know, I'm the technician, I've got to document, i got to find, I'm the one looking for this information and I'm bringing it to the people. So, you know, the short of it is that wherever, you know, wherever wages the source was does not change what the fact of, of what's happening is. And the safe mode is, is what we're looking at with the, the, the ability to swap out, do a hot swap. That's what they call that, a hot swap. While the machine, when we were doing... Um, uh, when I was in the um, the networking course at the Tech in, in New London, this is in Connecticut, um, there's one of the modules is replacing hard drives while your um, your data backup there's you know redundant hard drives, and so as you swap out the hard drive, you would you would leave the, you've got to leave the thing running. Right, you know, like it's 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 a you know the, the what they would call the enterprise level system, it's a server, so, you know, to 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 make sure it's it's working, the ding ding ding, and everything is is in there. Now, after, you know, when you can transfer everything over and blah blah blah, whatever you do, whatever you do, you know, in a lot of the cases when you do a hot swap, you're not ever going to shut it off. Okay, but we don't know what other maintenance they were were doing on the machine right so i think it's really important right? so the spectrograph is a very important uh very um complicated uh you know this is a very complicated kind of process uh, the bigger ones. Now, I think the next video, this is what I say, the next video nine, I'm going to show you the setup. There's a guy in YouTube. I'm going to show you a setup of, um, 
I don't want to see the masks. <laughs> I think I like this this better for the outro scene. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is pick up, maybe just shut this one off early, uh, and then just pick up right on the, the video where I was talking about the next, um, is the, he's actually giving you, I really think this is really important to show you what the system is of the antenna it, itself. Um, you know, we, we are, uh, I've talked this to the last two videos specifically, more so specifically on the Tomsk uh, machines themselves. Um, I want to give you a, I gave you a written, kind of in the pictorial. So the next one is uh, a video. Okay, so this is just kind of more of how the antenna actually literally works um, for you to see it and, you know, we're going through the whole whole process of this, of how the antenna works. All right, so, um, all right, so uh, thank you all for being here, um, and I appreciate all the comments and the love and support, and um, I'm going to uh, leave this music less <laughs> for the, the 1% uh, who may be annoyed with the music. Um, so, okay, so, um, on that cheery note, uh, thank you all for being here. Um, I'm Verdar Busto. This is the Schumann Resonance Harmonics channel on um, YouTube and Facebook. And um, uh, if you like the video, uh, you know, share it, like, subscribe, and tell your friends and link to it. And, um, you know, let's, uh, let's chat. Um, and um, I answer the comments uh, to the best of my ability. And, but I, I appreciate all of them, uh, good, bad, and otherwise. You know, it keeps the channel active. You know, even a bad, crappy comment and, and people, you know, you know, responding to it, it's like, yeah, you know, you give me traffic. Thanks. You know, so that's why I leave up some of the bad comments, you know, like just, you know, to generate traffic. I don't know, whatever. You know, thank you all in your way. You are wonderful people, and I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you.